My journey in the e-spy industry was actually, it happened by, how you call it, accident. Since I was young, I was already uh, dreaming of becoming a successful businesswoman. So I started from, I think, around age, age of eight. I was already start uh, selling candies and different things that I could possibly sell. So I really love doing business ever since. I came here in Dubai in year 2000. I was like 20, 21 years old. I didn't know anyone here. I didn't have any relatives. So prior to the salon, I was supposed to start up a, like a food business, but it did not uh, push through. But that did not stop me from pushing my dream. So I started working as a front desk receptionist, earning like 1,200 1, dirhams the time. Of course, in the beginning, it was not easy. First, buying an already existing spa with the previous management who was really close to them. It was a challenge for me on how I'll be able to gain their loyalty because there's always a chance that you lose the staff while implementing the changes that you have. So I really thought well of introducing all the changes slowly. Along the way, you lose old clients, you gain new clients. So it, it was really difficult for me being a first-time business owner abroad. That would be my very first uh, big business. And believe it or not, I didn't know any of the spa services. I don't even know how to blow dry my hair. I guess that's one of the secrets when you want to start a business. You have to set a timeline. You have to give at least one to two years. That's normal. And when you start business, you should have at least enough of around six to one year of extra fund for the operational expenses. I decided to open a Philippine branch of Infinity there in Philippines because I just do what I love to do. If you don't enjoy what you're doing, your business will not grow. I have 40 to 50 employees already. So that's one of the responsibility of being an owner. You don't just do business, but it's your responsibility to give them their salaries on time. So you, we have to make sure the business is profitable enough. So ang may papayo ko lang po sa inyo, kapag meron tayong gustong ma-achieve, may mga pangarap tayo, uh, just uh, wag tayong titigil. Gawin natin ang lahat para ma-achieve yon at keep pushing lang tayo. Huwag tayong gigive up.